The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is from the book of Genesis. That same night he got up and taking his two wives, his two slave girls, and his eleven children, he crossed the ford of the Jabbok. After he had taken them across the stream, he sent his possessions over there too, and Jacob was left alone. Then someone wrestled with him until daybreak, who, seeing that he could not master him, struck him on the hip socket. And Jacob's hip was dislocated as he wrestled with him. He said, let me go, for day is breaking. Jacob replied, I will not let you go unless you bless me. The other said, what is your name? Jacob, he replied. He said, no longer are you to be called Jacob, but Israel, since you have shown your strength against God and men and have prevailed. Then Jacob asked, please tell me your name. He replied, why do you ask my name? With that, he blessed him there. And Jacob named the place Peniel, because I have seen God face to face, he said, and have survived. The sun rose as he passed Peniel, limping from his hip. That is why to this day the Israelites do not eat the thigh sinew, which is at the hip socket, because he had struck Jacob at the hip socket on the thigh sinew. And our response from Psalm 17. Listen, Yahweh, to an upright cause. Pay attention to my cry. Lend an ear to my prayer. My lips are free from deceit. From your presence will issue my vindication. Your eyes fixed on what is right. You probe my heart. Examine me at night. You test me by fire and find no evil. I've not sinned with my mouth. I call upon you, God, for you answer me. Turn your ear to me. Hear what I say. Show the evidence of your faithful love, Savior of those who hope in your strength against attack. Guard me as the pupil of an eye. Shelter me in the shadow of your wings. But I in my uprightness will see your face, and when I awake, I'll be filled with the vision of you. And a reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. They'd only just left when suddenly a man was brought to him, a dumb demoniac. And when the devil was driven out, the dumb man spoke, and the people were amazed and said, Nothing like this has ever been seen in Israel. But the Pharisees said, It is through the prince of devils that he drives out devils. Jesus made a tour through all the towns and villages, teaching in their synagogues, proclaiming the good news of the kingdom, and curing all kinds of disease and all kinds of illness. And when he saw the crowds, he felt sorry for them because they were harassed and dejected like sheep without a shepherd. Then he said to his disciples, the harvest is rich, but the laborers are few. So ask the Lord of the harvest to send out laborers to his harvest. The Gospel of the Lord.